Hey guys, retired Lieutenant Todd Heaton here with Humilitas First. In this video, I'm going to share an excerpt from a talk that I gave in 2021 having to do with home defense. Once an intruder makes entry into your home, how are you going to create uncertainty in his mind? How are you going to move direct to the threat if that's what needs to happen? I'll provide you with a few things to think about. So when I bought my home, it had a top of the line alarm system. And I reached out to a local alarm company and I asked them, I said, could you install a PA inside my house pointed at my basement glass slider door? And also could you install either a spotlight or a strobe light? And their answer was, yeah, sure. We could do that. It'd be about a 350 to $500 upgrade. So why would I do that? Okay. So if, if it was just me and my wife, then I'd buy a product capable of barricading the bedroom door. Something like night lock. If an intruder was to break in in the middle of the night, then I'd just call the police. I'd let them come incur all of the physical, legal, civil, and social risks associated with dealing with the intruder. But because it's not just me and my wife, I have seven children. There are three still living uh, in the house with us that are not adults yet. They're in the basement. I don't have an option. I have to go direct to the threat wherever the threat is and solve whatever violent problem they present. So how am I going to get down the stairs? Without the intruder hearing my footsteps upstairs or hearing certain stairs creak on the way down, how am I going to do that? Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I Why would I do that? Because I need to shore up the thing that I'm most concerned about. What am I most concerned about? That basement glass slider door, that's my weakest breach point. I want to create uncertainty, panic, and fear in the mind of the unjust criminal intruder. I want the unjust criminal intruder to either hesitate or to start questioning, you know what, I think I came to the wrong house. I think I made a mistake. I'm going to move along now. I want questions running through his mind like, who does this? What kind of person does this? This is not normal. This has never happened before. I'm shifting his focus. I'm shifting his attention. I want to create a problem for him so he can focus on that. How am I going to make this loud noise stop? How am I going to make this bright flashing light stop? In the middle of the night, the house is going to be quiet. And if somebody breaches your home in the middle of the night and you get up and start moving as quickly as you can, especially on a level above them, they're probably going to hear you coming and they're going to be able to get the timing right. Ah, here he comes. He's creaking down the stairs. I don't want that. I want all of the advantages going my way. Time is not going to be on my side because I have to move from the upper level to the lower level and try to get there to be able to put myself between whoever just breached my home and my children. So I've already got, I'm already at a disadvantage, a distinct disadvantage in this scenario. So I can recall having received some instruction in home defense. And part of that included, this scenario is you have a two story home and all of the bedrooms for your whole family are on that second story. So all you have to do as the protector is get into a point of domination that's going to cover the stairwell. That way, if any threats begin ascending the stairs, you can address them. You can stop the threat. You can protect your family. That's great if that's the kind of house you have, but there's a lot of people, myself included, that don't have that kind of house. And so you're going to need to understand fundamental principles as it relates to home defense. Maybe I attach a big old woofer to the alarm system or some kind of loud horn, like a train horn, if that's possible to safely do indoors. I'm just trying to think outside the box. What can I do that's going to create uncertainty, panic, and fear in the mind of the unjust criminal intruder? If I don't have an alarm system, maybe I use something like a stereo with a remote or uh, one of those uh, Bluetooth speakers that I can hook up to my cell phone. Maybe my playlist includes that old favorite by Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. I would definitely have the alarm company program a panic button into the alarm panel on my bedroom wall. 
That way, if the glass shatters and for some reason the alarm does not automatically activate, I can activate it. Look, I'm not looking for a fight in the first place, but if it's going to happen, I do not want it to be fair. I want it to be exceedingly unfair for the unjust criminal intruder. You know, this is kind of like an extended flashbang. What's a flashbang? Somebody's thought process. If they're thinking about picking up a gun and we want to convince them that they shouldn't do that. Well, it's a loud noise with the flash of bright light that occurs in a moment in time. There is definitely a time to exercise noise discipline. But then there are other times you're going to want to create an artificial kind of chaos and let that chaos reign.